I remember when I first dipped my toe into the cafe world, I never could have imagined how much of an incredible wide world of coffee that there is. I'm Matt Lewin, Australian Barista Champion and Director of Sales at Honor Coffee. My coffee journey has been really interesting. I've gone from being a barista to cafe owner, roaster and travelling the world. So I've been working with Vitasoy for a number of years and we've created a comprehensive coffee program for young people in regional communities around Australia. I'm a country boy and a city lad. And when I was in the country, there's a lot less opportunities for trainings like this and just in general. So to be able to give back to regional areas, teach people incredible skills at a really high level, I know how meaningful it's going to be. One of the main motivators for homegrown baristas was this key fact that youth are two and a half times more likely to be unemployed than adults in regional and rural Australia. There's a lot of barriers for young people, and particularly in regional areas, because of the lack of facilities that we have when we're not in a metropolitan area. We don't get as well funded out in the country. So a lot of those barriers are um, access to educational facilities. I remember in high school, when I got a leg up, it meant so much for people to invest and believe in me. And it means a lot to be able to give that back to young people and to communities and share all my knowledge. So for this first training, we're heading to Ballarat, where we'll train four students from Phoenix Community College. I am so pumped to meet them. Welcome to Homegrown Baristas Coffee Academy. We're going to learn how to be the world's best baristas. Why don't we dive straight in? How does that sound? Yeah, yeah. yeah let's get over there. Let's do it. Woo. My name's Blake. I'm in year 11, outside of school. I work on cars, a bit of a hobby of mine. Got my own car, my 1996 Salika. Oh, I didn't know much about coffee, to be honest. I know it was made from beans, and then you put water with it. So the Homegrown Barista course is a really great opportunity for young people like myself because it gives us the knowledge we need to get a job in a cafe as a barista. I'm Bree and I'm in year 11. I have a big passion for karate, like that's my life. So what we want to do now, you can put your handle on the scale. And I don't know <laughs> My name is Charlotte Peters, but I'm more known as Charlie. I've been dancing for 12 years now. That's something I want to pursue, not necessarily dancing, but performing when I'm out of school. Employers, they're hesitant to employ young people like myself because of experiences that they may have had with people not having proper skills. My name's Ashley Stevens. I live in Ballarat and I am 16 years old. I love spending time with my friends and family and my dog, my very cute dog, his name is Jetta. Outside of school, I play basketball. One of my classes at school is work-related skills. The class I'm part of, we're doing a cafe. So this is really gonna help out with those skills. The course is pretty intense, very focused, because it's real world, high level cafe barista stuff end-to-end -end coffee making. The world of espresso, milk coffee, latte art, and then real world things like dialing in in the morning and opening a cafe, workflow, how to move around and prioritise making coffee. One of the more challenging things today has probably been trying to get everything that we've learnt and actually putting it into practice, being able to get coffee to the right temperature and the right ratios, and pouring the milk, which is a lot difficult than it seems. And then go for a core in the middle. Yep, go, 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 go. Yes! Yes! I'm feeling better. I'm feeling more confident. I'm spilling less milk. Well, I've really enjoyed the latte art. The best one I've done is probably this right here. It's a pattern I've done. It's called a rosetta. The Homegrown Barista course is helping people upskill and have the tools and confidence to use high employment pathways. Whip that through so you get a bit more foam and up and through. Nice. Matt well actually grew up in regional Victoria as well. And you look at what coffee has given him as a platform for success. There's no reason why we can't actually start to establish that for more people located in regional Victoria or even regional Australia. How do you guys, do you drink much coffee or? Yes. How much? <laughs> a lot. <laughs> it is my attempt of a tulip. I haven't had like the best run of it all and finally got some good texture and then it kind of just happened. It was just amazing. <laughs> Don't worry. 
Are you excited, Ashley? So excited, Barry. Are you excited, Charlie? I'm excited. When we think about making the best plant milk, there's a few elements that we need to consider. It has to steam and pour really well. It has to have an element of sweetness and balance and neutrality, so that allows the coffee to shine. So we're gonna do the cafe team challenge. We're gonna make four milk-based drinks. Go! <laughs> team challenge we did was actually really fun. Being able to communicate and get those coffees done really quickly, but still making quality coffee. We're getting there. That one looks good. It actually does look good. It looks really good. I got a bit competitive, but yeah, I had so much fun. <laughs> Get back to your station. My control that I had gained while doing different coffee pours, oh my goodness, have I improved. First pour, compared to the last pour, amazing. <laughs> One, two, three. Homegrown baristas! Today it's feeling a bit bittersweet. I'm so grateful for all the skills I've learned, but at the same time, I'm a bit sad that it's gonna be over so soon. Having all these teachers and family here, they're quite nice, you know, you can share what you've learned. And Miss Hall came up to me and said that she's pulling me out of class on Monday so that I can make some copies for the teachers. These young people that have been participating in it are gonna have something amazing to put on their resume. A really intensive program with a top barista is going to look pretty good to a local business. We're really hoping it might even set a precedent moving forward that other opportunities from Melbourne and, and our bigger capital cities will come to the regional towns and, and provide support for some of our students and community as well. It's been such an incredible opportunity and without all of you, this wouldn't be possible. So a really big thank you. This is something that we are all going to cherish for the rest of our lives, so yeah. The most rewarding points have been seeing the students evolve. The first thing would definitely be that the students have learned how to make coffee at a pretty high level in a short stint of a week. The fact that they could tackle something new, learn skills in a short period of time, shows that they can do that in life. And I know they have other pursuits and they can probably take that same mindset and skills and attitude and do whatever they want. And I can't wait to follow their journey, but hopefully they continue to make coffee. That would be cool. <laughs>